Good morning, everybody, on this Wednesday to get you over the hump. It's August 24th. I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel. That's Facebook Live and YouTube Live. Well, it's recorded, but it's it's live. <laughs> Sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. So we've got another great day ahead of us, just like we had yesterday. The official high was 89. Uh, but but it sort of felt like it, but it wasn't a humid 89. And that's because of all the dry air that we've got around us. And all the muggy air is still down south of us. There you see with the uh, satellite view this morning, there's not much going on. There may be a couple of areas of patchy fog. Other than that, it's going to be a day much like yesterday and the day before. And again, temperatures may be skirting with the upper 80s, close to 90. This morning, temperatures are starting out once again, mostly in the 60s. As we look at the Kentucky Mesonet Network and all the reporting stations, you can see 61 up in Grayson County, 3 Hart County, eh, 64, 63 here in Warren County, 63 Metcalf County, uh, 60 down in Albany, down in Clinton County, 64 in Russellville. You got 65 up near Central City in Muhlenberg County. So everybody starting in the low to mid 60s. Again, watch for some areas of patchy fog this morning. Now, as we look at the uh, map features or the uh, temperatures projected over the next 24 hours, starting in the 60s this morning, as uh, I noted with the Kentucky Mesonet sites, and we're going to warm back into the upper 80s. Remember what I said yesterday, if you were watching, this blend of models tends to average out, if you will, the temperatures from all the models, and this is what it comes up with, about 87. But yesterday it was projecting, what, 80, let me look back, I got my sheet from yesterday, 85, and we made it to 89. So that's what I'm saying. Some of the blend of models doesn't take into account the dryness in the air, uh, the refraction back from the sunlight. We get a, you know, a dry ground, which we're starting to run a little shy on rainfall now. And so that makes a difference too. Uh, we could actually use some rain. We're going to get some this weekend, but that has an effect on temperature. So that 87 that you're looking at there probably closer to 88 or 89. And then we go uh, back into the mid-60s for an average low temperature tonight, and then back into the uh, upper 80s, probably close to 90 tomorrow. So if you look at this and you say, okay, today's high is going to be 87, that's really not totally the truth. <laughs> um, it's You have to look at it objectively and and really selectively, uh, because uh, it's all relative to the conditions in your area, how much dry ground you have around you, how much sunlight you have versus cloud cover. All of that is factored in to what you actually end up with on your thermometer at your house. So that noted, let's move on to the map features this morning. Pretty quiet. We've got that boundary to the south and the heavy rains continue over Texas and now in Louisiana, causing uh, some major flooding there. And all that's moving into Mississippi and Alabama uh, later this morning and into the day while that front is parked just south of us, but it's not close enough to bring us any rain today. So I think we'll see just like yesterday and the day before, sunshine with cloud cover and at times, and then that's it. High pressure is what's dominating our weather here in the Ohio Valley and much of uh, our area. Here we go into tonight and into Thursday. Now the front tries to edge a little closer to us, plus we're watching this system to the upper Midwest and the upper Great Lakes that'll be drawn. Here we go into Thursday. The front is just down across the Tennessee border Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, we start to see the possibility of a pop-up shower uh, in southern Kentucky. 
uh, I think by tomorrow afternoon, Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening, few and far between, very isolated, very stray pop-up hours, and then they fade away after dark. But as we get into Friday, now we have the convergence of this system to the north with an area of long pressure, a big trough here that's uh, weakening, but still enough moisture in the Gulf and the southern states to bring us better chances of scattered showers on Friday and then on into Saturday, scattered showers. And then as we get into Sunday, I think that is when we're going to start to see more widespread rainfall. And there's the good coverage of rain as we get into Sunday night, into Monday, even though there's high pressure to the east over the Carolinas, the flow is going to be wide open from the Gulf of Mexico. And so all that moisture is going to stream northward. And here comes another boundary to the west uh, that's going to move in. So, yeah, I think our rain chances are going to go up, especially Sunday night into Monday and into Tuesday as that next front comes in. Of course, it's not painted in on this last graphic. This is just to give you a general layout of the fronts, the synoptic uh, setup here. But um, that's it. Uh, I think we are in for some more rain, maybe even some heavy rain and thunderstorms once we get into late weekend and then into the beginning of next week. And I think that will also do a number on temperatures. So here's a look at the 10-day stretch. Again, the blend of models showing upper 80s to right at 90. But again, as before, when you put that blend of models together, it averages out amongst all the models, and there's dozens and dozens of models. Uh, so what it does, it takes in those models and says, okay, here is a, here's a baseline average temperature for the day, and that's what it's showing 88 today, but I think it may be 89 or 90. Wouldn't be out of the question. Maybe 89 or 90 tomorrow. We get into Friday. We get into uh, the weekend. Yeah, close to 90 each day, and that's because we've got more moisture content in the air, and therefore that mugginess heated up. I think we'll get there, plus the showers and the thunderstorms. But after that next cold front that I showed you in the last uh, frontal boundary graphic uh, comes through, which will be about Tuesday into Wednesday. After that, we do start to cool down into the low to mid 80s uh, and maybe even a little less humidity in there. But the next few days are typically are going to be typical late summer, late August type weather, warm, a little more humid. And with that chance of showers popping up starting tomorrow, but then all through the weekend, we get better chances of rain and thunderstorms in here. All right, that'll do it for this Wednesday. I've got more Roger Waters Pink Floyd tickets to give away this morning for the concert this Saturday night at Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. Uh, so be listening for your cue to call, which is Floyd. At, at times, he was it was black and white. We couldn't tell if he was pink with blush or not, but Floyd the barber, and I, I know he was because he said he was, and he also says he's going to Nashville in one episode of the Andy Griffith show. So I put the two together. It's kind of a fun thing. Uh, so uh, we'll uh, do that this morning, give away some other things, be listening for my show coming up at six o'clock at Sam 100.7. God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the radio.